To begin, why don't you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Where did you go to school? What did you study? And what do you do now? Yeah, so I went to school at UC San Diego, University of California, San Diego, and I graduated with my bachelor's in computer science, and I currently work as a senior iOS engineer at Patreon. So as a student, it can be really easy to get consumed in grades, internships. What do you think is the importance of self-care as part of a routine of being an engineering student or even being a working engineer? I think it's so important. I think college is like an infamous time to compromise in your self-care. Yeah. But if anything, I think because of that, it's even more important to focus on self-care. One thing that I realized in my senior year of college was that if I just get eight hours of sleep every night, then my days are so much better. I can stay awake during class. My mood was better and it felt like I could be proactive in how I led my life instead of feeling like my life controlled me when I had been getting like two to six hours of sleep. I realized that during college and I almost wish I had held that to a higher importance earlier, but it's really important to understand how your mind and body work and how they feel. So monitoring your mood, your physical state, and like taking the time to understand what helps and what doesn't is really important. And a lot of that time means like giving yourself the time to reflect and check in with yourself. If you're like caught up in a flurry of school and you have one thing to do after another and a program assignment due in an hour and you have another assignment due in two hours, sometimes you forget to check in with yourself. So making the time to do that I think is very, very important. But yeah, like this is even something that I really struggle with as an adult. Time management is always gonna be hard, but especially in college when it's easy to solve things with an all nighter mm -hmm. and then like the next day you totally regret it. Self care is very, very important. And each individual person is very unique. Like some people are okay only sleeping four hours a night. Some people need eight to 10 hours a night. That's me. Some people need to exercise. Some people don't need to exercise. Like each person is different and getting to know yourself uh, during college is I think going to set you up for success. Cause if you take care of your body, then like everything is gonna feel uh, much better, I think. So, yeah. Awesome. I think, I guess in a college context, exercising, finding those eight hours of sleep, even eating right is a, mm -hmm. it's it's a challenge eating right. whenever you're in college and you can always just go get a slice of pizza. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to go to Costco and get like the 24 pack of Red Bull. Oh my god. And then like the 24 pack of cup noodles. Oh, oh gosh. my gosh. <laughs> I think like in college too, especially when that you're just so busy. Like mental health is also a really important part. Like mental health I think can be a very difficult thing to manage when you're in college. And some people really struggle with this, but like a lot of universities have like campus resources to help you. And I think understanding and knowing that you need help and getting help is something that is, is like one of the best things that you can do for yourself. And it's really like an investment to you and it's, it's an investment towards your future. So I think like whether it be mental health or physical health or emotional health, just knowing that you need help and getting the help that you need is something that is hard to do, honestly. Sometimes you're like, I'm okay, I'm fine. Like mm -hmm. I can deal with this on my own. But asking for help and getting the help that you need is going to drastically improve your, your life. And so like leaning on others, like your friends or family, building that support network during college is also, I think, incredibly beneficial for, for your well-being. It's good to hear that from someone who's graduated and not just I guess university administrators. I think there's always that like college student, I'm rebellious, I don't want to listen to you mindset that ha that yeah. is in a lot of people. So yeah, good to hear that. Totally, yeah. When college administrators ask me, I'm like, yeah, right. Like college isn't mm -hmm. all roses. Yeah. And I'm like it's gonna be hard. So let me know how I can get through the hard times. <laughs> and it's hard because taking care of yourself instead of just taking care of your achievements and your grades is kind of taboo for some reason. Yeah, like you have to work sustainably too because if mm -hmm. you're just going to if you're just going to bring yourself out then like you're going to not enjoy life and you're not going to produce as great work as you can. And so like bringing yourself out and doing frequent all nighters sure will like get you to, you know, a GPA or get you to graduation and stuff, mm -hmm. but then like at the end of the day, are you retaining the information that you're learning? Yeah. Like, are you enjoying it? 
Are you thinking about what you want to do with your life, like Maybe with not. your degree? Yeah. Yeah, not. like it, I think like sustainable pace of work is so important, and a lot of tech companies also value this too. Like they don't want their employees to burn out because sometimes when they burn out, they leave. Mm -hmm. And so like promoting a really sustainable pace that is healthy for each individual person, I think, should be like prioritized at any stage of life that you're in, given that you have the circumstances to do so. So I guess I wanted to ask a final question related to mental health, but about also the work experience at Patreon. So you mentioned that mental health is really important and companies are putting, uh, creating work environments where they don't want their employees to burn out. Was that a consideration when you were deciding where you wanted to work? And particularly, would you say Patreon provides a good work environment in that sense? Totally, yeah. So I'm someone who like really values like sustainable pace of work and not burning out and like not overworking. I feel very uncomfortable when my employer is like, you have to work 60 hours a week this week. Like, you have to get it done. Like, I don't care whether you think that you can or not. Like, I want you to. I don't like being micromanaged that way. Yeah, that was definitely a consideration that I had. And Patreon is definitely like such a great place to do that. Like, we're still a startup, so things are still very rigorous and move very fast. And we still need to work quickly and deliver good work. But like, we're not gonna do that by doing 80 hour work weeks. Mm -hmm. And that's like an emphasis that Patreon communicates outwardly, but also within the organization. Like we are constantly just like, hey, like we wanna accomplish what we want to, but like, let's do it sustainably. Like we don't want to cut corners on anything that we're doing. Still wanna build a great product. Still wanna have like great engineering solutions. And so we often talk about the priority of that. But I know that like some tech companies are infamous for like working their employees very hard. I think of it like a coding monkey. Like I don't, I don't like feeling like I'm a, a I'm just a small cog in a mm -hmm. big machine. I like feeling that I have an impact on where the company is going and like that my input matters and I'm not just producing code. So yeah, that's definitely something that I look for in tech companies generally. Like I think if I were to do another job search or like recommend a company to a friend, that's something that I hold to a very high importance because yeah, I, I think it's easy to, to not do that, basically, so, yeah. Okay, great. Thank you, Mayuko, for joining us uh, for this video and for your candid advice. So that wraps up this video for this week. If you like this video, like, comment with any questions, and subscribe for future videos.